How's it going gamers? My name is Rushcode. In this video, I will show you how to make a custom for loop with a step size and briefly explain why it's more useful than a normal for loop or a for each loop in some situations. So this is what a typical for loop node looks like in the blueprints. This is what a for each loop looks like. And this is what my custom for loop with step looks like. So you can see it has a step size over here. If you want to learn how to make this custom node, all you need to do is go to your for loop node, double click on it, and then it'll take you to this blueprint and you don't want to change anything here because this is part of the standard macros. What you want to do is go to the utilities in the My Blueprint tab, go to Flow Control, and then under here you can see all the loop types and you can see this is where my custom for loop sits. What you want to do is click on for loop, right click, copy or duplicate I suppose, and then we can name this as, I'm just going to say with step two. And now we have a copy of the actual for loop function without altering the original one. And then we click on the inputs and increase the number of inputs we have. So here we have a plus sign, click on that. You have a new input here and we'll call this step size. Change the Boolean to integer. Take that and feed it into the increment node. And that's it. So now you can control how far apart the increments are. So what's the difference between them and why is it more useful? Let's see I connected up this for loop here and when the event began to play, what this will do is print out a list of numbers from 0 to 9. So if I run the simulation, you can see in the corner that the numbers have popped out. And the easiest way to do this is just go to your output log after exiting the simulation and you can see all the numbers printed out here in order from 0 to 9. This is what you would expect from a for loop because it increments by 1 for every loop. But you may not want that, right? You might want something that goes from 0 to 2, 4, 6, 8. But you can't do that with a for loop. The next best way is to use a for each loop, but that requires you to create some kind of array, which you can then change and say, right, for each index in here, I'm just going to make it 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Now, when I connect that up and run it, you can see that it has pulled all of those numbers out, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And the advantage of a for each loop is that you can pull out the index if you want instead, which are just these numbers over here, representing the positions of each element. Trouble with this method though, is you would have to change these numbers or increase the amount of elements in here every time you want a different set of increments. So this is where the for loop with step customization comes in. Connecting this up, you can see that I've put an index from zero to nine and a step size of two. So this will automatically generate numbers in the two times table. When you run it, this is what the output looks like. So you have your zero, two, four, six, eight. This is completely dynamic to whatever step size you want. The only limitation with this right now is it cannot go backwards. So you can't do zero to negative nine saying that you want to step through backwards by negative two. The reason for this is because when you go to the blueprints, you can see here that while it's incrementing perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with it. The way it checks whether it needs to increment is by using this node over here. So it will check if the current value is less than or equal to the last index. If we set our last index to be below our first index, then this node will always return a false statement. It will always fail right from the start. The only way to change that would be to introduce a new input, say a Boolean that might decide if this is less than or greater than. And if it is, then you want to have some kind of branch in here somewhere, which deals with that situation such that if it's true, then it might do a less than and if it's false, it'll do a greater than. So a very, very short, simple tutorial to create a custom macro or a custom for loop, which opens up a world of possibilities with what you can do with blueprints. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you liked it, smash like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Rush Code out.